Hi, this is Max from Recent Expert, and today I want to show you a few quick tips for when you're working with Rex Loops. Um, so I have this song, and I've been asked to do some programming, and I thought it'd be cool to show you what I've done with a few Rex Loops uh, and how I've worked with them so far to have them lift the song up a little bit. Um, so I'm working in Rewire, and I've been sent a Pro Tools session. And let me show you what has been sent to me to show it up and then I'll show you what I've done. Poderoso, bondadoso, mi escudo, mi porción. Let's skip to the chorus. Gloria al Rey En su trono está all right, so I have a scratch piano and a scratch vocal, and I found a couple loops that I think would fit this song, but do need some work. Let me show you the loops. Let's skip to the chorus. Alright, so back to recent, let me show you uh, what I've done. This right here is the raw loops that I just played to you. And this right here is what I ended up doing with them. And first of all, what you can see is I edited the MIDI notes uh, to have them fit the song a little better. And then what I also did uh, for the first pre-chorus is I automated the filter uh, because I don't I don't really need all that energy in the low end at least for the first pre-chorus and then I really liked the beat in in the chorus but I didn't like the snare sound so what I did is I uh, deleted the chops with the snare and then added another Dr. Octorex uh, with another uh, new snare sound and um, let me show you uh, what this simple uh, process has done for me. Uh, I mean, I haven't really done much work. I didn't really go deep into Reason. All I did was just automate a couple of stuff and then just edit a couple MIDI notes. And this is what I ended up with. Let me show you the difference between the, the first and the second loops. You can already, uh, the difference in the pre-chorus is it's obvious uh, because of the filtering. But let me show you the snare difference in the chorus. And this is the new snare. Good. So I hope this short video inspires you to dig in a little deeper into programming when using Rex Loops and also show you that you don't always need to know the ins and outs of every connection within Reason. Uh, all I've really done is uh, some simple automation and MIDI editing and already the song has been benefited from it. So yeah, keep uh, making music, keep getting better and I'll see you next time.